What? Who thought? Who in the Konami department thought it was a good idea to create this Yu-Gi-Oh card right here? A card that combines three banned Yu-Gi-Oh card in today's meta game to make this? It's absolutely ridiculous. These cards are already on the ban list. And in today's video, I'll be showcasing you guys this card in action and showcase the potential that this card has for the 2020 metagame. This card is going to be coming on Rise of Duelist, so I cannot wait for this card to come out. I'm going to have so much fun with it, and I have the best deck to showcase you guys the sheer power of what this card holds in today's video. For those of you here on the channel for the very first time, what's going on? My name is Sam from Team Samurai X1 here. Consider on hitting the subscribe button and make sure you guys turn the notification bell to get notified each time I upload videos. They'll be absolutely amazing. And if you guys wanna see more videos like these, make sure you guys go in there right now and smash that thumbs up button. They'll be absolutely phenomenal. All right guys, don't waste any more of your time. Without further ado, let's hop right into YGO Pro to showcase you guys this brand new card in action. All right guys, let's do it. Okay, this is take number four. I really hope I draw it on my opening hand this time, alright guys? Without further ado, let's begin, come on! Okay! We got it! Three tactical talents. Every YouTuber is talking to you guys about this card right here. I have a going first a variation of heroes I want to test out for you guys today. And our hand is looking absolutely amazing. The really wonderful thing about this card right here is that this card is kind of like an ash proof, you know what I mean? If your opponent were to ash, effect, Veiler, ghost, ogre you at some point, this card becomes life, which is absolutely amazing. And with heroes, any response? Hello, well. Ash Blossom. Okay, this is the perfect scenario to resolve this card's ability right here. This is absolutely perfect. The hardest thing when it comes to heroes in the 2020 metagame is the fact that we can't play around the Biru. It's really, Really hard to play around the Biru, and this card right here becomes extremely broken when it comes to destroying your opponent's hand. So basically, you guys don't know what this card does. If your opponent activated a monster effect during your main phase this turn, activate one of these effects. You need to bait out your opponent, which is kind of unfortunate for this card. If your opponent doesn't have anything to stop your negation, this card essentially becomes a dead card in your hand. But for this scenario right here, he ashed us, which is absolutely perfect. We paid half our life, he ashed us. Now we can activate three tactical talents. So as a pot of greed, take control of one monster your opponent controls until the end phase. So it's a change of heart. And last but not least, look at your opponent's hand and shuffle one card from it into the deck. So this card is a trap dust shoot, which is absolutely insane. So we're gonna activate this card's ability. We're not gonna draw two. We don't care about the draw two effect. People think the draw two effect is nice. It, it is nice, but I care about look at your opponent's hand and shuffle one card from your opponent's deck. What do hero players lose to? Nibiru, the primal being. So let's see if he has Nibiru in his hand. If he doesn't, who cares? If he does, we absolutely win the duel. So we're gonna look at the opponent's hand. We're playing against Animatspeeder. He has Nibiru in his hand. Have a good life. See you. I have Ferris and Shadow Miss in my hand. I'm playing against Animatspeeders. GG Nori. Let's combo off real quick. This is why three tactical talents is absolutely beautiful. Because of the look at your opponent's hand effect. Nothing else. Okay? I'm running out of time. But I'll explain to you guys once I combo off. So we're gonna go Ferris, increase, uh, summon Vion, activate Vion's effect, send Mali to the graveyard. Okay, activate this. Okay, we're gonna banish the Ferris. We're gonna search Polymerization directly from our deck to our hand. Okay, cool. We are going to make extra hero Cross Crusader. Oh my god, this timing thing is terrible. Oh my god, I have to combo off in how many seconds? Okay, activate this. Tribute this. I'm playing against Ant Emancipators. We're gonna add Liquid Soldier from our deck to our hand. Okay, come on, hurry, 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 Sam, hurry. Okay, normal summon this. Activate this effect. Special summon Shadow Miss. Oh my god, this is bad. This is so bad. Activate Shadow Miss. Okay, we're gonna search Mass Change. Search Mass Change. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. No, 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 no. Okay, we're gonna go. Uh, okay, Mali. Cool. Okay, special summon this. Okay, we are gonna go this. Uh, uh, this, this, hurry, hurry, hurry. Okay, Mass Change. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, 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 okay. Come on, hurry, 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 hurry. Okay. This resets this. Oh my god, no, 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 no. Oh no, I, ha I, I, uh, I don't have enough time. I don't have time. Oh shit. Oh no, 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 no. Hurry, hurry. Oh my god, no, 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 no. Oh no, 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 no. Oh. Oh, I don't have enough time. I don't have enough time. Banish. Uh, this, 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 uh, this. Uh, uh, it's, oh, Okay, enter turn. Oh my god, yes! Okay. <sighs> I 
this timer thing is this timer thing is ruining my life. I can't end it on double dark law, which is insane. Um, we're playing against Animancipators, of course. Dark law literally kills that deck. While Dark law is on the field, I don't think anything is happening. Activate Seeker. Activate Seeker. Absolute zero. I know he has sign in his hand, one unknown, one seeker. GG. GG. A GG. To be honest, wow. That's game. What can he do at that point? This is 9,000 damage on the field. Enter battle phase. Attack for game. Crazy. Crazy, guys. This is all possible. This is literally all possible because of three tactics. Literally, this is all possible because of three tactics right here. Absolutely broken. Absolutely broken. GG. A GG guys. Holy macaroni guys. I, I I think Kino does now have a chance. Play around the bureau with three tactical tactics coming out right of duelist. This is gonna be ridiculous. This is going to be absolutely ridiculous. Holy Mac. So let me explain to you guys on what this card does real quick because I didn't fully get to explain because of the time issue that I had in that video. Comboling under time is ridiculous. Three tactical talents right here. If you guys don't know what this card does, you're going to activate a monster effect during your main phase's turn. Activate one of these following effects. One, you draw two cards. Two, take control of opponent monsters until the end of the phase. Three, look at your opponent's hand and shuffle one card back into the deck. So, what does this remind you of? Okay, Pot of Greed. What else? Um, change of Heart. Last but not least, Fourth Full Century. All right. This card right here is literally these three cards built into one. It's a Pot of Greed, which draws two cards. It's a Change of Hearts, which takes control over your opponent's monster. And last but not least, it's a Force for Trentry. Look at your opponent's hand, select one card among them, and return it to his or her deck. Personally, the Pot of Greed effect is nice. It is absolutely amazing. All right? But this card is underlooked because people are not pointing out how broken the Forceful Century really, really is. I truly believe the most significant effect when it comes to this card right here is the Forceful Century effect, aka the Trap Dust Shoot effect. And by looking at your opponent's hands and getting rid of hand traps, like cards like Nibiru, which we don't have cross designator yet, is absolutely insane. I think this card's ability in the three tactical talents is the most important effect when it comes to commonly off in any combo based deck. Pot of Greed card is nice. Yeah, the only problem with the Pot of Greed effect is like, okay, I summon Straddles and I need my Straddles to resolve. That's cool, right? And if it doesn't resolve, I can chain three Tactical Talents, I draw two cards. Beautiful. If I don't draw a combo piece, I feel like the best effect is definitely the Forceful Sentry. Going second as well, the Change of Heart ability is absolutely crucial as well. So I think this card has so much potential when it comes to the 2020 minigame. And I know a lot of people are talking about this card right here, but personally, I think the most broken effect when it comes to this card is definitely the Forceful Sentry's ability. Combining all three banned cards into one card is absolutely ridiculous. This card is gonna hold a price point of $100, 100,000% when it comes out. You guys definitely gotta watch out for this card as well. It essentially becomes dead if your opponent doesn't have a hand trap. But if your opponent has a hand trap, you can potentially draw into your combo pieces, right? I think heroes can take advantage of this effect really, really well. There are so many cards in the deck that are like Ash Bait, and being able to look at your opponent's hand and get rid of cards like the Bureau is absolutely crucial. So I think it's really, really great, but the Forceful Sentry ability is insane. So yeah, guys, this is the return of Pot of Greed, man. I'm super duper excited, man. Super awesome, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys are the video, make sure you guys smash thumbs up button. That'll be absolutely amazing. And this is your boy Sam from Team Sam Sam signing out. Let me know your thoughts about this card in the comment section below. And that's pretty much it. The fact that you can get rid of the Nibiru in your opponent's hand is absolutely beautiful. This is your boy Sam from Team Star Sam signing out. Alright guys, peace.